Hi, Mary Kay here. Do you want to create big things in 2018? Well, I want to talk to you about a topic that I'm very passionate about, and we're going to talk about the one thing that you need to do in order to create big things in your life in 2018 and beyond. So my name is Mary Kay Malali, and I am on the board of the Elevate Leadership Community. And of course, we offer transformational trainings here in Southern California. And um, it's work that I'm very, very passionate about. So, you know, when I um, did started this transformational work back, oh my gosh, 13 years ago, I was one of the biggest lone rangers on the planet. I did everything alone. And while I created quite a bit of success, I reached a point where I hit a wall and I wasn't able to get beyond um, a certain place in my life. And it became very frustrating to me until I learned what I'm going to talk to you about tonight on this quick live. So here's the truth. Here's a truth bomb. We can't do big things alone. If we are going to do big things, we need a team. We need partnership. There's, it's, it's highly unlikely that we're going to create a, something huge by ourselves. So why is that? Because, you know, if we have partnership, if we have a team, it's going to create accountability. It's going to create support. And it's going to develop us into leaders. And sometimes we as leaders need to be able to slow down a little bit in order to speed up. We need to help other people along the journey and show people what we may know in order to empower them. And so how, what are some ways that, that as leaders we can empower people? So the first thing is that as a leader, we're not here to tell people what to do or to make people do anything. Our job is to have people honor their commitment, you know, to, to, to have people honor the commitment that they make and to remind people of their commitment when they forget. And by doing that, you know, I, I, there's a, today I was uh, talking with a, a coach in a business coach and he said that of the many, many hundreds of people that he had worked with, one of the biggest things that they always said was the biggest difference that, that it made for them to have a coach is the accountability, is having someone hold their hand and hold them to account for what they said they were going to do. And so that's a big deal. As a leader, we're here to have people honor their word, have people honor their commitment to themselves and to others, because when we can honor the commitments that we make to ourselves and to other people, then we can become authors of our lives. Then we can take our lives to the next level. So it's very, very powerful. Um, so, you know, practicing collaborative leadership rather than trying to make people do things or to, you know, control people is very powerful and is is not only going to empower other people, but it's going to empower us as leaders as well. So we get to create partnership. We get to be partners and not only hold people to account to their word, but also have ourselves held to account for our own word in partnership with the people that we're working with. You know, when, when I started practicing some of these distinctions, my business really, you know, really tripled, took off in a big, big, big way. And, you know, it's been uh, an interesting journey, but how do we hold people to their word? It's really by asking open-ended questions. So, you know, somebody says they're going to do something or they're going to complete something. It's about, you know, asking open-ended questions. You know, what is it going to be like for you to complete that task? Why is it important to you to, to get that done? Um, you know, that kind of thing, open-ended questions that have people step into their vision, step into, um, who they really want to be in life and who they get to be to, to, to really take the next step and, um, have everything that they want to 
accomplish in their lives be achieved. So I hope that's making sense. Um, you know, and in that way, when we can hold people to account and have them be their word and, and be their commitments or, or, or meet their commitments, then when one person wins, we all win. And that's really what having a team is all about. So if you want to create big things in 2018, then you get to have a team, you get to be a partner, you get to be a leader that holds people accountable to their commitments and remind people of their commitments when they forget in such a way that not only will those people thank you, but they will absolutely love you for um, being that, that for them. So if you are, uh, if you have not done any kind of transformational work, I can tell you this work has been absolutely supportive in developing myself as a leader in my business, with my family, in my relationships. If you haven't done this work and you're curious about it, drop Elevate in the comments below and we'll get you some information. And if you're a graduate, and you have already done this work, but maybe you haven't participated for a while, drop Elevate in the comments and let's explore what might be next for you. No matter what your next step may be, um, I'm clear that we here will have something for you to support you in taking the next step in your journey and having 2018 be your biggest, best, most expansive year yet. So with that said, Thanks for joining me on this quick live. I know it's late and many of you, most of you will be dropping the replay. If you do drop, uh, if you do watch this replay, drop replay in the comments so that we can um, shout you out. And I wish you an amazing 2018 here in the first week of January. And we'll come to you again real soon. Take care, everybody. Bye for now.